can you commit to one person? Yes. If you know me, you know. The next question is, are you still friends with any of your exes? None twelve. Real one. And none twelve. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your Tara Brianna. If you don't know, now you know. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all don't know how geeked I am to be sitting in front of the camera again. Like, what's really good? I've been gone for a minute. Like, it's almost been a month. You know, I had a little minor setback for a major comeback or major come up. Minor setback, major come up. Is that how you say it? My computer was just acting janky. Like, it was not trying to let me save my videos and I'm like what so anyway getting into this video today's video is going to be a invade my privacy tag I noticed that the last time I did any kind of Q&A video was literally like a, a year ago like what's, what's good Jatera like so I'm gonna do an invade my privacy tag because it basically has like some juicier questions you know you feel me you feel me? So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Yeah, the first question is... Hola. Ooh, I don't know her Anything? Girl, I'm recording a video. Everybody always say that. I don't want my camera to die, Aaliyah. You call me in the midi... Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Y'all see how she treat me? I try to tell her I'm recording a video and she gonna do all that. Anyways, so the first question is, would you ever date an 18 year old at the age you are now? Heck no. Let me put something out there right now. I am 21 years old, okay? The big two one. You feel me? I'm legal. I am not dating no 18 year old at this age. Um... Like I said, I already watched this video, so there's a lot of, like, age-related questions, so I'm going to go deeper into the reasons why I would or wouldn't, because I don't think that age matters, but I just feel like 18 is too young for me, because, like I said, I'm 21, I'm about to graduate college, so that means while I'm out here trying to travel the world, I'm going to be like, man, you got homework, like, when your next break, you feel me? My family will clown you, and my family is blunt. You know, like, it's just going to be too much. So, would I date an 18-year-old at this age? No. I'm sorry. The youngest I'll probably go is, like, 20. And I got my wine right here, y'all, because the girl has been stressed, all right? I should do something when I have, like, wine down Wednesday, and I like just talk to the camera, do something chill like this, and give advice or something. That's a cute little idea, right? Wind down Wednesdays, and then I that will make me post every Wednesday. That's cute. I like mental note just there because I will forget. Okay. Number two is can you commit to one person? Yes. If you know me, you know. Yes, I can. I am a relationship like oriented type of person. Um. I don't involve myself in the hookup culture. I don't like to date. I don't talk to people. Like, that gets me tight. I don't do that. If you mind, or we friends and we get to know each other, you feel me? But, yeah. I have no problem with committing to one person. And they better be committing to me as well. And only me or we we gonna box. Like, we can just box right there. Like, you don't have to see me. Like, screw up. Okay. Number three is how do you look right now? How I look, y'all? How do I look? I got a little natural hairstyle going, a little slight beat, you feel me? Um, I have this cute little sweater on. Don't ask me where I got it from because I don't know. Um, I think I look real chill and cozy and pretty. <laughs> Next question is, how long was your longest relationship? It's just really complicated <laughs> because me and that person was on and off for a really long time. What we got together in 2011. 2011. Oh my god, I was in the eighth grade, y'all. 
my memory is so janky. I can't remember if it was around 2016 or 2017 when we like cut it quick. But during that time, we was on and off. So I'm going to say like five plus. It's a whole situation. So I'm going to say like five plus years on and off. Because it could be six. That's why I look pluses right there. Girl, I don't know. A long time. A long time. I feel like this question is similar to the other one. Um, but the next question is, what are you wearing right now? Um, it's a little cute purple sweater. Um, that's how it is in the back. Where is it from? It doesn't have a tag, so I don't know where it's from. The only tag it has says, hand wash coat. And I don't hand wash nothing, so. Uh, anyways. Anyways, I have this sweater on. I think it's from Feather 21 if, I, if I'm, like, going to make a guess. And then I have on, like, some little booty shorts, so y'all don't need to see that. But, yeah. Oh, I think I moved out of frame. Hold on. <laughs> so, the next question is, how often do you listen to music? Y'all, music is my life. You feel me? I listen to music all day, every day. Like, there's not a day when I don't wake up and I'm not listening to music. Like, that's literally the first thing I do. Once I get out of bed, I go brush my teeth, wash my face, get in the shower, do all that. And while I'm doing that, I'm listening to music. When I'm getting ready, I'm beating my face, I'm doing my hair, I'm listening to music. When I'm going to class, getting on the bus, I'm listening to music. Like, y'all, if I leave out the house without my earphones, I just know it's going to be a bad day. I just know it's going to be a bad day because I need music. And I've been so sleepy lately. And school has been so draining that I've been having to, like, listen to music while I'm in class. Just so I can stay up. But y'all get it. The moral of the story is I listen to music like all day. Okay. The next question is interesting. Um, the next question is if the person you like right now says that they like someone else today, how would you feel or what would you do? Um, do I even like anyone right now? Let's just say I like someone right now. If they happen to end up liking someone else, it was supposed to happen. I'm not going to get mad at that person. I'm not going to take it out on them. I'm going to be like, cool, do you, boo? I mean, you don't know what you're missing. I don't know, you feel me? Trying to like the nexus. And I'm I'm right here. But, you know, go ahead and do you. And, yeah, like, it's, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Because what's meant for you and who is meant for you is always going to be for you. Remember that. You ain't never going to have to question it. You're not going to have to fight for it. Because it's already written. You feel me? Like, it's been written by God. You feel me? So, if the person I like like someone else, cool, boo, boo, no hard feelings. You know, I'm too much for that. I don't got time for all that, like, pettiness. Like, oh, well, I don't like her, man. No, I don't care. Like, y'all cute. You feel me? Like, I'm not going to look it. So, um, the next question is, are you good at hiding your feelings? Sis. Yes, I'm so good at hiding my feelings. If I want my feelings to be hidden, girl, boy, y'all would never know how I'm feeling, okay? Let's say I'm going back and forth with someone and they getting on my nerves. You gonna see the oil on my face. You gonna see the disgust and the irritation all in my face. My nose gonna flare, my eyes gonna roll, my eyebrow gonna fries. You feel me? Like I'm be like, what? Like, <laughs> like if I'm irritated, then my face is going to show you before my mouth does. You feel me? Now, on the other hand, say I'm with the love of my life and he break up with me on Monday. Tuesday, when I go to school, I walk around campus. Everybody going to expect me to be heartbroken? No. I'm going to walk around with the biggest smile on my face. I'm going to walk straight by you like you not there. Like you don't matter. Like you're invisible. In high school, I used to always make my exes or like... My boyfriends when I was mad at them, make them feel like they was invisible. Like, I don't see you, boo. Like, you're not going to know that you knocked me off my game. You feel me? Like, if you got me in my feelings, I'm not going to let no one know that you got me in my feelings. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of knowing that you hurt me. So in those type of ways, yes, I'm really good at hiding my feelings and my emotions. But let's say I'm in a heated argument or something, you're going to see me irritated right in my face. So, like, I can't hide that. Also, if I'm happy... Or I like somebody, or I blush. I can't hide that. Like, my best friend could vouch for this. Like, say I'm interested in a boy, 
and I'm really feeling him, right? She'll say his name in my post. Oh, I can't cut. <laughs> She'll say his name and my whole face will light up. And I'll be like, blushing, you know? So, like, I don't know. It depends. If I want to have my feelings, I can. But if I don't, I won't. You know? Next question is, do you care if people talk bad about you? Do it look like I care? Because the answer is no. <laughs> I used to care a lot, like in high school or middle school. Nowadays, I could care less. I could care less. Because, like, for real, for, people want to talk about you good or bad regardless. That's one thing that I noticed super duper fast. So it's like, you just have to let those people say what they want to say. And, like, why are you so worried about the next person? You feel me? Like, <sighs> Zip it, shut up. Why are you always talking about people? Like, like, not for real, off no BS. If people sit there and talk about you all day, you're just a threat to them. Or you have something that they don't. Or you have something that they want. Or you carry yourself a certain way and they're attracted to it. But unfortunately, they don't know how to show love and they say they show hate and they just want to be a hater. You feel me? So, like, if someone wants to sit there and talk about me, go ahead, boo-boo, zoo you. Like, your opinions really don't matter. You're not running me a check, so at the end of the day, I'm not going to care. <laughs> Did that just come out of me? I'm so sorry. That was so nasty. The next question is, when was the last time you cried? If you know me, you know I'm a crybaby, so, like, I cry all the time. Like, I can listen to a sad song, and it will remind me of something, and I'll cry. Or I can watch a movie or a TV show, and I'll cry. Actually, just recently, I found Jada Pickett Smith's um, Bread Table Talks, what she do with her family and whatnot. <sighs> I'm very in tune with my emotions. So I don't care about crying a lot. To be exact, I think the last time I cried was yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Because I was watching the Red Table Talk. Those are so good, y'all. Like, she said something that reminded me of me and my mom. And I started crying because I miss her a lot. It doesn't take a lot for me to cry. I can also cry on the spot. Let's see if I can do it right now. Matter of fact, no, because I'm messing my makeup. I got y'all in another video though. I'm gonna do it. So the next question is my favorite question because I like the answer that I had. The next question is, have you ever liked someone that you didn't expect liking? The answer is yes. Literally yes. Every single person I've ever liked in my life, they liked me first. I always fall for people who like me and show interest in me. And like, there's nothing wrong with that. And literally the other day when I was in class, I learned like what the definition of that is, like what that is called. Okay, so then let me tell y'all. I'm in this class right now called Personal Adjustment, and it's about happiness and mindfulness and stuff like that. And yesterday we learned about relationships and power couples and what it takes to make you fall for someone. So one term was called reciprocal liking. And basically what that means is a person will show interest in you and want to get to know you and pursue you. And because they like you, the fact that they like you makes you like them. You are interested in the fact that someone is interested in you. Therefore, it's called reciprocal liking, you know? That has literally happened to me every single time I got into relationships. I've only been in two relationships. I can only have two exes. So, um, both times I got into a relationship, they liked me. And then what this generation will call talking. So, because they liked me, I ended up falling for them. So, yeah. Did I ever like someone I had no expectation on liking? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> the next question is, are you still friends with any of your exes? But, yeah, you guys, I think that was the last question. So, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please comment down below. You guys be, like, DMing me on social media saying, 
sis to do a video like this or sis i love this video y'all just comment down below right here like this is why i have youtube as a platform you feel me like so if you like videos like this or y'all think i say anything interesting and you want to hear some advice about just comment down below what you want to see don't forget to give this video a like um make sure you share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye